Today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to do some fill effects in order for the foil quill to be able to fill in either an object or text. I have brought in a simple line drawing of our school mascot and I put the name of our school underneath the um, object. I'm going to select them both just so that whatever treatment I apply to one will be applied to the other. Once I have my object and or text on my screen, I'm going to make it about as large as the screen. This is way bigger than I'm going to end up using, but the bigger I make it, when I go to enlarge it to do the fill effect, it will become more dense when I shrink it down. Once I have this done, I'm going to click on the sketch panel. It is over on the right hand toolbar and I'm going to click on it and it opens the sketch panel. There are two panels built in this drop down panel. This is the more basic one and then this is advanced sketch. At first we're going to just need the basic one. As long as my object and or my text um, is selected, I'm going to then select an edge sketch, which at this point would be plain. That is just the plain circle. Nothing happens on the left, which is fine. Then I'm going to choose a fill sketch. You can choose the cross hatches, you can choose the X's, the lines, any of these. I'm going to choose the hatches. And you can see when I choose it, it fills in both the text and the object with cross hatches. Now when I do that, I want to have it much more dense than that. And in order for me to achieve this, I have to open another panel, the transform panel. So I'm going to move sketch down so I don't lose it. I'm going to still need that panel. So I'm going to open the transform panel over on the right and I'm going to change it from the first choice to the second one, which is the scale, the two headed arrow. Now at this point, what I want to do is I want to add lots more marks in here. So I'm going to change this to the defaults, go up to 300, but I'm going to change it to 500% and then hit my return key. And you'll see that it made it huge with tons of cross hatches in it. Now, if you go back, leave that open, if you go back down to the sketch panel and open the advanced sketch, you're going to see that there's spacing here. If I move the spacing down to the left as far as it'll go, you'll see that the markings inside the object and the text that you can't see have become much more dense. Once I've done that, I'm going to go back to the basic sketch panel and I'm going to click on Release Sketch. You'll see nothing happen. That's okay. It really did happen, but we just have to release that sketch. Now we're going to jump back up to the transform panel and we're going to bring this down to the lowest in the defaults is 33%. Let's go even lower than that. Let's just go 10%, which is going to make it very small. And now you'll see that the object and the text are densely filled with all of those cross hatches. If you don't believe me, I'll just zero in on this and you can see that it really does still have all those little boxes. But because it's so dense in how you're going to end up using it, and I'm going to do it even smaller than this, this is going to be a card and so I'm going to bring it down to approximately 3 by 5 or 3, 4 by 5 and that's where I'm going to leave it and now I could send it to my Cameo with my foil quill in the tips and it will look as if it's one solid fill instead of cross hatches.